coming out today. As you know, this building behind me has been in the county for almost 200 years. In that time, it has become old and decrepit, a home for drug dealers, sexual deviants, and homeless men. This warehouse has truly come to represent everything that this community has strained to overcome. It is therefore with great pleasure that I announce that Americapital Incorporated will be demolishing this monstrosity to make way for a brand new children's hospital. What? People of Aberdeen, think about what this woman's proposing. She's proposing that we tear down one of our oldest and most abandoned warehouses, <laughs> and you're just nodding along like it's what today's Christmas morning? <laughs> Scooter, when the pharmacy refused to refill your drugs, you ran out of drugs pretty quickly, didn't you? I mean, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and where'd you go to get a quick fix after that? Quick? You're looking for a quick fix? You should check out the warehouse. You're gonna love it. The warehouse, exactly. And we're all sure how Scooter, how cranky Scooter gets when he doesn't get a little something, something in his veins. <laughs> if people do realize that this boy is suggesting that drug dealers are important for your town, the uh, drug dealers need jobs too. Yeah. Drug jobs. <laughs> <laughs> and just because some of us can't afford Tampax or Xanax or Mucinex or other brand name drugs doesn't mean that we should be denied the medical care that we deserve. Oh, and old Mr. Hubblenobs! That is what I go by in this town. <laughs> you were a doctor long before retiring to raise your two beautiful children. That's right, I was the best physiognomist slash gynecologist this side of the visitor. <laughs> and, and how long, if you don't mind me asking, how long did you go to study before you could competently practice that? Competently. I would say it was about ten years before I got my first official job. Ten horrific years of clawing my way up from the bottom, stepping on every finger along the way. That's when old Mr. Havilland sets his eyes on two little alien babes. <laughs>
evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's I, God. I hope you remember me from before. <laughs> had a great deal of fun coming down and performing sketch comedy with these humans. <laughs> now, in the 6,000 years it's been since I created the Earth, I have not once let humans exercise their free will. That is, until now. I have given you, the audience, three choices with which to end this sketch. <laughs> the first choice is that I, God, will delete the moon. <laughs> the second is that I, God, will play golf in front of you. And the third is that I, God, will allow these crazed townsfolk to carry this lady with a ten dollar haircut into this abandoned warehouse where the warehouse will eat her. <laughs> what say you? Three. Three.